Africa, the Super Eagles of Nigeria square off against Guinea-Bissau later today. Sport fans have expressed optimism on the likely outcome. Sports correspondent Dennis Ofik has details. Nigeria can beat them too. Look, I like their play. They play very well. They are keeping them very well. The only thing they are moving with are not too strong. But they are front like seven eleven and they are center striker. They are playing very well. The keeper do very well. The back of like five and six, they are very well. But the midfield are not really strong like that. I believe they will win the match and at the same time a draw a draw is okay for them to qualify. But a winning will make them top the group. I will give them three one. I'm expecting Steven to score. Uh, actually, I don't know the the, the, the lineup as, as, at, as at the moment, but I believe Steven will score and we play today. I expect Nigeria to score three goals today. Three, three yes. Those goals will come in the first half or in the second half? Uh, the first, let me like the first half will be like two to nil, while the second one will be one, which is three, three nil, yes. Victor Steven or maybe Luke Mann? Or maybe look more. Either the two. We score. Do you see, do you see Nigeria topping the group at the end? I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm 90% sure. 90% sure? Sure, sure. 90%. So if Nigeria doesn't get to win the game today, will you be disappointed? Um, I won't be disappointed because the midfield is not that good. The midfield is not that good. There's no quality defensive midfielder or center midfielder. You think that that's the coach can that midfielder? The coach is not good enough. 100% and Nigeria go win. Ah, uh, show them why Nigeria straight win in Nigeria direct. Ah, uh, uh, I two one. We did yes, two one. Ah, uh, I can't put this on. But 100%, I know that it's two one. Straight win in Nigeria. The Super Eagles of Nigeria currently occupy the second position behind Equatorial Guinea, who will also play host Côte d'Ivoire by 6 p.m. Nigerian time today. Dennis Orfik reporting for iBrand TV News.